Welcome back, everybody, for another deep dive. And uh, today we're taking a look at the world of medical AI. Very exciting field. It is. And we've got a really cool paper to dig into today, uh, focusing on a model called MedUnifier. Oh, yeah. I've, I've heard some buzz about this one. Yeah, this is one that's um, really pushing the boundaries of what we can do with AI in medicine. I mean, think about it, an AI that can not only understand your medical images like x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, that kind of thing, but can actually create them from text descriptions. It's pretty mind-blowing when you when you think about the possibilities there. It is. It's like having an AI radiologist that can not only read your scans, mm -hmm. but can also imagine and create new ones based on what you tell it. It really does sound like something out of science fiction, but yeah. the, the reality is that this technology is is here and it's it's evolving rapidly. So let's let's break this down and, and really get into the nuts and bolts of how this works. Mm -hmm. So Med Unifier is described in this paper as a vision language pre-training framework or VLP, specifically designed for medical data. Right. And, and that's a key point here. It's not just some generic AI trying to figure out the complexities of medical images. It's been trained from the ground up on a massive amount of both medical images and text. So it's already fluent in the language of medicine, so to speak. Exactly. And that's what allows it to do some pretty amazing things. So we've got this this AI that's been trained on all this medical data. But what, what really sets MedUnifier apart is this ability to generate both images and text. Mm. I mean, most of these VLPs out there, they focus on analyzing existing data, but this one goes a step further. That's what makes it so exciting. It's not just about understanding data. It's about creating it. And that opens up a whole new world of possibilities in medicine. So how does it actually do that? How do we go from text descriptions to actual medical images? What's the secret sauce? Well, the, the secret sauce, if you will, is a technique called visual vector quantization. It's a bit technical, but essentially imagine creating a code book for images where each visual element, like a shape or a texture, is assigned a specific code. So it's like breaking down images into a language that the AI can understand. Precisely. And once it has that language, it can then use it to build entirely new images based on the codes it receives. So by understanding the individual components of an image, it can then rearrange and combine them to create something completely new. That's the idea. And the results are pretty remarkable. I mean, the images that MedUnifier can generate, they're, they're highly accurate and detailed. It's pretty wild to think about. I mean, you could describe what you're seeing in a patient's x-ray. And this AI could actually generate an image based on that description. It's it's pretty close to that, yeah. And that has huge implications for for diagnosis, for treatment planning, for research, even for medical education. So we've got this AI that's built for medical data. It can understand both images and text, and it can generate both images and text. But how does it actually learn to do all of this? Mm. How does it become this so-called AI radiologist? Well, it goes through a rigorous training process. The research paper outlines four key learning objectives, and I think it's helpful to break those down to really understand how MedUnifier develops this expertise. Okay, let's do that. What are those four objectives? So the first one is image text contrastive learning. Think of it like a massive matching game. The AI is given tons of medical images and reports and has to learn to match them correctly. So it's learning those basic connections between what it sees in the image and the corresponding medical description. Exactly. It's building a visual vocabulary, if you will. Then there's image text matching, which is a bit more like detective work. The AI has to figure out if an image and a report actually belong together. So it's not just blindly matching. It's learning to analyze and critically assess whether the image and report are a true match. Right which is really important for real-world accuracy. Now, the third objective is where things start to get really interesting image-grounded text generation. This is where MedUnifier takes what it's learned from images and puts it into words. It's essentially learning to write medical reports based on what it sees in a scan. So it's like an AI shadowing a radiologist, learning to articulate their observations in a precise and detailed manner. That's a great way to put it. But then we come to the most groundbreaking objective, and that is text-grounded image generation. This is where MedUnifier flips the script and actually creates a medical image based purely on a written description. Okay, now that's just straight out of science fiction. You're telling me I could describe a medical condition, yeah. and this AI could create an image that accurately reflects that condition. That's exactly what it can do, and it does it with remarkable accuracy. I mean, the researchers claim that the generated images are almost indistinguishable from real radiographs. That level of accuracy is is mind-blowing. It really speaks to the depth of understanding that this AI has achieved. But how do we actually know how well it performs? 
Did the researchers put it to the test? Oh, absolutely. They tested Minunifier on a variety of benchmark tasks, and the results are pretty impressive. Okay, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat here. What kinds of tests did they use to evaluate MedUnifier, and how did it stack up against other AI models? Well, they started with what are called unimodal tasks, which focus on images alone. They used data sets like the RSNA pneumonia data set, the SIM-ACR pneumothorax data set, even covid brixx to see if it could accurately classify different conditions based on chest x-rays. So they were basically testing its ability to analyze images and make accurate diagnoses based on what it saw. Exactly, and the results were very promising. MedUnifier demonstrated a really strong understanding of the intricacies within medical images. Okay, that's that's great news, but I'm sure they didn't stop there, right? Yeah. What other tests did they throw at it? Oh, they, they really put it through <laughs> its paces. They also evaluated it on cross-modal tasks, which involve both images and text. Remember that MIAC-ICCXR data set we talked about earlier, that massive collection of chest x-rays and reports? Oh, yeah, that one's a behemoth. Well, they used that to assess how well MedUnifier could match images to reports. Mm. And once again, it excelled, showing that it truly grasps the connection between the visual information and the textual information. So it's not just understanding images or text in isolation. It's making that crucial connection between the two, which is how radiologists work in the real world. Exactly. It's that ability to connect the dots that really sets MedUnifier apart. So it's crushing it on these unimodal and cross-modal tasks. But we haven't even gotten to the really exciting part yet, the image generation stuff. Hmm. What did those results look like? The results were pretty groundbreaking. One of the key metrics they used is called FID, or Freshet Inception Distance, which basically measures how realistic and diverse the generated images are compared to real ones. So basically, how well the AI-generated images stack up against actual medical images. What kind of scores did MedUnifier get? MedUnifier achieved FID scores that were comparable to or even better than other leading AI models. And it's not just about the numbers. They actually included visual examples in the paper, you know, comparing real radiographs to the images generated by MedUnifier. I'd love to see those. Mm -hmm. So the AI generated images were, they were pretty close to the real thing. Oh, yeah, very close. The reconstructed images, those generated from existing x-rays, were nearly indistinguishable from the originals. Wow, that that's really impressive. Yeah. What about the images that were generated from scratch, purely from text descriptions? Did those yeah. hold up as well? They did, and that's what I found so fascinating about this. The synthetic images, they showed incredible diversity. It's like the AI can imagine different variations based on the text prompt. So, for example, if you gave MedUnifier a description of a lung with pneumonia, it could generate multiple images, each showing slightly different manifestations of the condition. Exactly. And those variations would be accurate and medically sound, mm -hmm. you know. But they would also capture the range of ways that pneumonia can present in real patients. That's that's a really powerful tool for, for research, for training, even for diagnosis. It really is. But, you know, we've, we've talked a lot about the, the technical details and the, the impressive results. But I think it's important to step back and ask, you know, what does all this mean for the average person? How might MedUnifier actually impact their healthcare experience? That's the, that's the million dollar question, yeah. right? I mean, this technology has a potential to, to touch so many aspects of healthcare, mm -hmm. from diagnosis and treatment to to research and education. Absolutely. Imagine you go to the doctor with some unusual symptoms. They order a chest x-ray, but the findings are inconclusive. Oh, okay. I've, I've been there. Well, with MedUnifier, your doctor could use a detailed text description of their observations, you know, along with your symptoms, to generate new images that might highlight subtle abnormalities. So instead of relying solely on that initial x-ray, the doctor could essentially ask MedUnifier to explore different possibilities based on their expertise and my specific symptoms. Precisely. And those additional images, those what-if scenarios, could lead to a faster and more accurate diagnosis, especially for those tricky cases. They could make a huge difference in terms of, you know, getting the right treatment as early as possible. Absolutely. And and it's not just about finding problems. You know, MedUnifier could also be used to simulate how different treatments might affect your body. Right. That's the personalized medicine aspect we talked about earlier, tailoring treatment plans based on an individual's specific needs and characteristics. Exactly. MediUnifier could help doctors determine which treatment is most likely to be effective for you minimizing trial and error and maximizing positive outcomes. That's that's pretty incredible. I, it really feels like we're on the cusp of a, of a revolution in healthcare. But what about the research implications? How could MedUnifier accelerate medical advancements? 
Well, think about how difficult it is to study rare diseases, right? Yeah. You often have very limited data and images to work with, which hinders progress. That makes sense. But with MedUnifier, researchers could potentially generate hundreds or even thousands of realistic images based on expert descriptions of those rare conditions. So it could be a real game changer for research, allowing scientists to, to study rare diseases in more depth and develop new treatments much faster. Exactly. And and let's not forget about the potential impact on medical education. Imagine medical students having access to a tool that can create endless realistic medical scenarios for them to practice on. Oh, that would be amazing. It's like a flight simulator for doctors. That's a great analogy. And because the images are so realistic, it really bridges that gap between textbook knowledge and real world experience. So Mid Unifier, it has the potential to to transform how we diagnose and treat diseases, to accelerate medical research, and to revolutionize medical training. But are there any aspects of, of MedUnifier's capabilities that give you pause? Any concerns that we should be thinking about as this technology continues to evolve? Well, you know, it's it's certainly an exciting development, but I think it's crucial to acknowledge the need for, for human oversight hmm. as AI becomes more integrated into healthcare. Right. We don't want to just hand over the reins completely. Exactly. We need to remember that AI, even advanced AI like MedUnifier, it's a tool, a yeah. powerful tool, yes, but one that should be used to enhance human expertise, not replace it entirely. That's a really important point. Ultimately, medical decisions should be made collaboratively, you know, with doctors and AI working together to provide the best possible care for patients. I couldn't agree more. The goal is to create a synergy between human expertise and AI capabilities, you know, leveraging the strengths of both to improve patient outcomes. So it's not about AI versus doctors. It's about AI and doctors working together as a team. Precisely. Yeah. Now, I think we've we've covered all the main points from the research paper, but there's one detail I found particularly interesting that I'd like to highlight. Okay, I'm all ears. The researchers conducted what's called an ablation study, where they tested different versions of MedUnifier to see how each component contributes to its overall performance. So they were essentially trying to pinpoint which elements are most important for MedUnifier's success. Exactly. And what they found is that each of those four learning objectives we talked about, they all play a critical role. When they removed even one of those objectives, the performance of the AI dropped significantly. So it's like a finely tuned machine where every part is crucial to its overall function. That's a great way to put it. And I think it highlights the importance of a holistic approach to AI development, you know, where all aspects of learning and understanding are considered and integrated. It's a good reminder that creating truly effective AI requires a deep understanding of not just the technology itself, but also the, the complex field it's designed to serve. Absolutely. And in the case of MedUnifier, that field is the intricate and ever-evolving world of medicine. It really is a fascinating area. And in MedUnifier, it's it's certainly pushing the boundaries. It is, and, and it makes you wonder, you know, what, what other advancements are just around the corner? Oh, absolutely. The pace of innovation in this field is incredible. It is. And, and you know, before we wrap up this deep dive, I, I always like to leave our listeners with, with something to ponder, you know, a, a, a thought-provoking question, something inspired by by what we've learned today. I always appreciate that final nudge to keep the wheels turning. Mm. What intriguing question have you come up with today? Well, you know, we've talked a lot about how how mid unifier can can generate medical images from text descriptions, and, and that's a pretty significant shift in how we traditionally think about medical imaging. It really challenges the very foundation of how we visualize and interpret medical data. Right, and and it makes me wonder about the the broader implications for communication and understanding in healthcare. You know, if, if AI can create images from words, could this lead to a more standardized language for describing medical conditions? That's a fascinating thought. You know, one of the, the biggest challenges in healthcare is that there's often a disconnect between the, the technical language used in medical reports and, and how patients understand their own health. It's true. Sometimes it feels like doctors and patients are speaking completely different languages. Exactly. What if AI could help bridge that gap? Imagine an AI that could translate complex medical jargon into plain language that anyone can understand or even generate personalized visuals that help patients grasp their diagnosis and treatment plan more easily. That would be incredible. It could really empower patients to take a more active role in their own health care and, and lead to more open and effective communication with their doctors. And, and it's not just about patients. You know, imagine the impact this could have on medical education. Imagine students learning anatomy and physiology through interactive AI-generated visuals. It could make learning so much more engaging and intuitive. 
It's like opening up a whole new dimension of medical understanding. And, and that's the real takeaway here. I think Med Unifier, it's not just a technological marvel. It's a catalyst for rethinking how we approach medical knowledge communication and ultimately healthcare itself. That's a, that's a great point. So to, to our listeners out there, we, we leave you with this challenge. Think beyond the immediate applications of Med Unifier. How could this technology transform the way we interact with medical information, both as professionals and as patients? The possibilities are truly endless. The future of healthcare is, is ripe with potential, and we encourage you to be a part of shaping that future. That's all for this deep dive into the world of medical AI and the groundbreaking capabilities of MedUnifier. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep into the topics that fascinate you.